Hello, come now. All right. Taking a moment here, we're just making sure everything's working just exactly right. All right, looks like we're getting here. How are we all doing? Welcome everyone. What do we got? Tonin, we got Evan. Stream time, a little early today, but we're getting rolling here. Tex Wiz, what up, Patrick? Matthew? How's everyone doing? Blue Meanie's in the house. What up? Got Crack Pie. Going into the update weekend. Sure, most of you guys are checking out the patch notes. Got Zap in the house, Austin. Our grad, Damo, what's going on? Bucks in the house. Waiting for Monday. Yeah, we got some pretty... I don't know about the balance changes. I think the... Overall, they look pretty good. <laughs> David, what's going on? Can't stick around, Zap? All right, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I appreciate you guys hitting that like button if you do. Definitely helps the stream out. What do I think of the latest update? We'll be covering it a lot today. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know much about this Peter Bagration. Could be interesting. Transformers? I don't know. Like They told me to... Let me just see what's going on here. Because in our uh, CC Discord, they're like, don't uh, use these Transformer pictures anymore. And then I, someone on my video comment yesterday was like, oh, they took the Transformer part out of the patch notes. Let me see if it's still in there. Yeah. <laughs> I think they did get rid of them, so... Perhaps... Uh, who owns Transformers? Disney, let's assume. Perhaps they got in a little bit of a spat. I don't see anything about them. So that's interesting. Yeah, like, usually that CC version, I don't know. We get the patch notes like two days ahead of time. Now, you would think, I don't know how programming works, but you would think like a piece of software would be done two days before they were going to release it to the masses. Apparently not. Because uh, they, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. So apparently, I don't know. The Transformers don't look like they're currently in there. I thought they, now the descriptions were vague. One of them said something about battleship secondary guns, and they were just talking about the build in general. So we don't know to what extent the inspirations would have come into play. But battleship secondary guns, uh, the next one was improved radar, uh, making spotting from planes more difficult. Uh, the other one was better maneuverability, better smoke screens. That was the Italian one. And then the uh, carrier, faster aircraft, bigger help pool. So who knows? how good they would have been, but they sounded pretty decent. But now, I don't know. Yeah, like, as soon as we released them, you know, we released the patch notes, it's like four in the morning for me. I wake up and then like on our CC Discord, uh, Phil's like, yo, don't uh, don't use these Transformer pictures anymore until we give you a wood up. So who knows? 
Yeah, I don't know. Thoughtful's in the house. What's going on? Uncle Bucker, what's going on? Hope they still come out. Yeah, they might just, who knows what they're doing. It might just be a pushback type of a situation. But yeah, we get the we get our copy of the patch notes probably usually on Tuesday. And then we release them like Thursday in the morning. So something happened between Tuesday and Thursday, I guess. Hi from Oz. What up, Will? How you doing? <laughs> What's up, Kalis? New campaign. Could be interesting. I don't know. I don't we were talking about that a moment ago. Peter Vagration. Nerf to commander detectability. I mean, we're talking about like a let's say on our Kagero we got like a four point eight compared to a five, you know. It's not gonna be a huge deal. I was talking about that briefly in the Dewey's Lounge yesterday. Just saying, maybe that would actually help some destroyers stay alive because they'd be less inclined to push really close. And, you know, usually when the destroyers push really close, they wind up, like, by three or four ships that'll blow them up really quickly. Well, that was, you know, me assuming that the players would be actually thinking about what they're doing, which seems far-fetched, so... I don't know. I don't, I don't think the destroyers... We'll see. It, it's kind of interesting because, like... It's being reduced on the Bay slash Swirsky side of things, which actually kind of makes the Ultra Concealment Destroyers a little bit more strong compared to the other ones. Because, uh, you know, let's say we're reducing our Kagero's detection by 5%, let's say, or 6% previously. That low starting detection, it's going to have less of an impact on that build, the Bay. As opposed to if I put Bay on True Betskoy, where we got a seven and a half detection on Tashkent or whatever it might be. So it's like making the less stealthy destroyers even less stealthy vis a vis the other ones. So we'll see. I don't know. It's, I think their options were either tweak all the ships individually, which probably would have been less fruitful, or just try it through the commander route. I don't know. We'll see. I don't. I really don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. The CC Exodus. I mean, I don't really pay too much attention to the PC game. Sounds like a really <laughs> kind of a shit show over there, but I don't know. I think a lot of those guys that have been around playing the game for like five years, you'd start to go insane anyways playing this game that long. I've been playing it for like two and a half, and I've already lost most of my marbles, so. <laughs> Imagine doubling that time. Your grasp on reality would have to have been severely uh, altered. And so I think it's probably just their unconscious trying to get them free. Looking for an excuse, but whatever. I mean, I, I like I say, I don't really follow it that much, but... Uh, it sounds like the little white mouse gal thought she was collaborating with them. I'm guessing it was someone a little bit further down the trough that really didn't know. You know, maybe it was just kicking it with her. Who knows? I mean, a lot of that's behind the scenes, but I think it's kind of cool. They all kind of stood up for each other, though. Birdman, what up, boy? Sid? Henry? Weep for Balder. Think we'll see less destroyers rushing off by themselves. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully. What do we want to do here? I think we're done with the... Yeah, we just got some V-Bucks stuff. So we can just kind of take requests today. We can look at commanders. See, I was saving all these promotion orders. Because, you know, end of the update... As someone who tries to cover the commanders for you guys, I like to have some POs slash insignias in the, in the pocket at the end of the updates, just in case something hot drops. Then we had these Transformers supposedly coming, so I'm like, alright, this is going to pay off. Now I don't know. Should I go ahead and spend these things? I guess we'll wait a couple days. I will be streaming next Monday too, by the way. I got the day off. 
So we'll actually be covering the update live. Uh, so if you want to tune in for that, that should be a good time. We'll be doing a deep dive on everything that's coming. Stylo's in the house. What up? Well, let's get something going here. Let's maybe do a... Maybe a tier 3 goofballer. Let's try the Gangit again. We tried this the other day. Lucky Moore, what's happening? 61 peeps tuning in, 27 likes. I've been actually been paying attention to the likes lately during these streams and like the last couple times we've gotten the likes really high and then all of a sudden we get a lot of new viewers. I can check with the analytics who is new, who has been around. And so if you guys actually do hit the like button, then the YouTube starts shoving it off to people that have never come across this channel before. And if you haven't come across this channel as a World of Warships player, you're probably not that deeply uh, diving into the content yet. So I think it's a good way to actually get, you know, like World of Warships strategy in the people's eyeballs that are kind of newer to the game. And it helps the channel out too, by the way. Helps it grow. We are trying to get to 20k. Which, I don't know, it might be about a month away unless we get a <laughs> big surge. Only use historical commanders. What's up, Casey? Yeah, let's, I'm checking the diagram in the bottom here. So we can get the front three guns with that angle. That's pretty damn steep, especially for a tier three. This Gangit we played a, probably about a week ago. I don't really play the Gangit much, but I play against it. And if you're in like a cruiser or something, you just can't damage this thing. Like if we're in the Oleg and we got the Gangit on the other team, nothing you can do. We got an Arkansas FE on our team. That's good. With a Langley. I had to explain who Bugard was. Hey, Willamut. Two million global XP. Yeah, that's a lot. I mean, I've got all the green XP ships up till now. I don't have the Pablo. And that's probably... I don't know how much that would be. Maybe about five million green XP over a couple years, so... It's a, it's a tall ask. I don't know. It's not going to be easy. And I know. It's like we got the flyboy inbound. Here we go. Yay. Oh, I got these guys over here. Come on! I forgot to check what caliber guns these are. That's the one thing I don't know. I think Emerald's probably within Torp range here. You got 1 million green XP right now? Yeah, I don't... The problem with it is, is like, I've also spent a lot of green XP. I got a lot of pressure to like cover the new ships right away. So I usually will try and at least do the mods and whatever else. He gone! Whatever else I can get off of the, the new ship. So I've spent a lot of green XP just Russian builds. I mean, you can, you can get green XP. It just takes a long time. But... We'll get there. If you play the game for a long time, you'll get everything eventually. Or not, maybe not everything, but most of the goods. Konigsberg, what all you doing? Hey, go! That one was. Right at the tail end of his ship. I didn't think we could hit the Citadel when I saw those shots coming. Fire on the enemy 
We're gonna ignore this guy. He might get a shot at us. He's a Kaiser long range, though. I don't know how accurate he could possibly be. But we got cruisers over here. We got destroyers. We even got this flyboy. If he gets really annoying. Oh! Apparently the Kaiser can aim. Let's uh, be a little bit more careful. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna bully our way in here and see what happens. What's up, comic? Gang it bang. Gang it's mean, man. Gang it's a mean son of a bitch. Oh, yes, Prometheus. Especially if you're like angle. We took a ripper from that guy. This guy can damage us if he wants to. We're just. He's about to die, but he can get some damage. He will die, though. We already know that much. Let's see if we can damage this before we go out. This looks like we got two forward turn guns and two rear turn ones. Man, when this fucking flyboy wants you dead, there's nothing you can really do about it, is there? This should be a win here. Could even fire at this guy if we want. Looks like Kaiser's attention's moved on. Let's give the Ryan a tap, see what happens. Since he's got such a hard on for us. How do you like it? Uh -oh. Can't tell if he shot at us. Todd, what's going on? Where in God's name is your team? Oh, they're off in Timbuktu, where they're normally at. They got the back of the map covered in case anyone tries to sneak in through the rear. Oh! Easy, Kaiser. Easy. Uh-oh. They better not let this fucker capture. Oh, no. Oh, I got the Ryan. All right. We're still alive here. This thing is tough to take out. Thought we'd be dead a while ago. Alright. Revenge is a dish vessel of gold, yeah. I mean, I don't think we have any AA on this thing, do we? Does it say on here? We got a three firing range. Yeah. Well, he's out of planes now, so. We're on the cap. They got to come reset us. If they want to reset us, we'll kill them. Table shuffle. <laughs> they don't get on the edge of the map too often. Aha. Uh -huh. We gone. Welcome to the rock. I haven't got anyone that sweet broadside. The Kaiser had a tick. He had a chance to tickle me. He got me pretty good. Let's see if we can finish off the Kraken. Ah, oh, you bastards.
Special perk for the CV premium. What you talking about? Zarkoon. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I mean, I'll, if I happen to be on the edge of the map, I'll do it. But I usually try and like chess. The central positions on the map are much stronger than the edge. So I'm usually trying to get more in the middle of the map as opposed to the edge of the map. Off to a good start. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. What did we get? Three dev strikes. Apparently we can aim today. That's good. That's a good sign. Some days I can't hit the broad side of uh, Iowa. Alright, well I'll let you guys kind of give me some ideas today. What do we want to see? Played six games, gave up? Well. <laughs> I've been on a little bit of a roll here lately. The last three or four days. A lot of good footage to pick from. You blew it up! Damn you all to hell! <laughs> Must have tier five premium. I mean, my favorites are War Spite, T sixty one, California. I don't know if you guys can get that anymore. Probably not. Uh, yeah. Probably, I'd say destroyers, T sixty one cruisers, DeGrasse, battleships, war spite. Eighty thousand gold for two million XP. I wouldn't go that route. You don't need to spend five hundred dollars for a legendary tier ship. When as soon as you get a legendary tier, you're gonna be like, "Fuck!" Everyone that plays this tier is an idiot. <laughs> I think I'll go back. Legendary Tears is a silly place. Let's not go there. The Mutsu. Yeah, we got the knockout build on this one. Iowa feels like it's had a buff. I haven't played the Iowa for a long time. The Alaska, I don't know if it needed a buff, man, but uh, I I don't think it's the easiest ship to play, but it's pretty nasty already. That one's going to be a mean son of a bitch. What's up, Fresh? Play the Azuma. You guys love it, the Azuma. I don't know why. I've been thinking about You guys are always requesting, like, the worst ships in the game, and then... We wonder when the stream's over why we haven't won any games. We should just do a stream with like uh, Achikov and Yudachi and Jean Bart one day and see how we do. The mod one. What's the mod one? Tiered up will be in a division. Well, I mean, if you're in a division, you got to make sure you're both playing the same tier ships. If you're a tier 5 playing with a tier 6, you're going to be in like tier 7 games a lot of the times. The majority of the time, probably. And then everyone on your team is going to be like, what is wrong with this dude? The Wooster! Wooster! Azuma Wooster! 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 Azuma. <laughs> Some people like it. I don't know. I, haven't, I don't hate the Azuma. I just don't really... It doesn't send a thrill up my leg, as they say. Ah, uh, yes. Now this Mutsu here has got Nagato guns on it. If they can actually hit... Look out. People always look at these torps. What do we got? Seven kilometer range, but look at these angles. If you want to get these on target, you're flashing the sides. You're in trouble. So these torps are just kind of... Stuff to throw out there, just for shits and giggles. Alright, let's see if we can find this destroyer. Ah. Oh. I 
Now they do reload really quickly, these torpedoes. Shison. It's trying to turn away from this thing, but now we got torps coming in here. God damn it. Oh, motherfucker. We're done. <laughs> That was a fun game. <sighs> Give me one sec here. These guys text me on my day off like I give a shit about my job. Alright. Well, the Mutsu B, not the uh, best when it gets torped five or six times in the sides. We've determined that much. Grendel, what's going on? You found the torpedoes, yeah. Yeah, I basically, I was trying to turn off there. But, uh, we had to wait for that Tennessee to shoot, which unfortunately kept us going straight for just long enough. Well, that wasn't uh, the best game we've ever played. <laughs> you gone, yeah, no kidding. Oh, with the special ability? I don't know. I mean, I would have to assume it's a Japanese carrier, right? So we'd probably get some torpedo action. I don't know. I think that ship wasn't in the PC game, so even if we wanted to look at it, we wouldn't be able to. Let's try the Alaska now, see if it works. But yeah, we got, I was looking at those Russian DDs and like the higher end ones, like the Udaloy Tier 7, I think is in the PC version, but the other ones weren't. I don't think the carrier was, so we're starting to get some of our own stuff. I mean, we've had Champagne, we've had, uh, you know, two or three other ones. But, I don't know. We'll have to see. Presumably, though, assuming they follow the Japanese flavor, they're probably going to be torpedo-focused. The Zuiho? Is it in the PC version? I don't know. It's kind of funny, because, like, the early surface ship premium ships are all pretty good. They've all... Not all of them, but a lot of them have stood the test of time. Put out a lot of... Fan favorites early, like the Sharnhorst. You know, Turpets was one of the first campaign ships. You got your War Spite was one of the early ones. I mean, Arizona was early. But I don't know anything about these, you know, I don't... I'll play carriers, but I don't really care that much about carriers. I don't know anything about their premiums. Play the gearing. Yeah, we'll see how legendary is looking today. Sometimes it's worth playing. Sometimes it's like going to the insane asylum and then forgetting your visitor pass. And then them being like, oh, you're one of the patients here. Like, no, no, no. I was just visiting. But then you can't get out and they start pumping you full of like psychotropic mind altering substances. And then your life is just ruined after that. That's sometimes legendary tears like that, so we'll have to see. <laughs> Champagne? Oh, what did I... I said Champagne. I meant Charlemagne. Champagne's getting a buff. But like I said in my uh, preview video, I still don't think I've actually won a game on that one. Alright, here's a spot we got wrecked the other day. I was playing my little play here. But then we got destroyed. Two Z twenty threes versus two Z F sixes. Hello. Nobody's playing B. 
We got an overload on the cap that we already possess, D. We've uh, got one guy going into A, which presumably has three dudes going right through this gap here, since we haven't seen any of them, plus Sporting Destroyer. We're going to move over to B, see if we can capture that, and then we're going to have to defend, because this guy's going to get his ass kicked. Uh, and then, you know be a disaster but they are overloading that east so we'll see if why are you right behind me dude so we'll see if we can get away with this but this guy should be like oh fuck i'm about to die here if you haven't seen these three ships that spawn here for the first uh three minutes they're probably all right about here and uh, let's see how a ZF-6 does versus a 1v3. Ah, uh, yes. Who can read the game? The ZF-6 or me? Ah, uh, looks like he got a suicide shot off. Oh, and he whiffed. That I had the AP going. Still, I'm gonna get back. He's already dead. Nothing he can do at this point. <laughs> oh, he did get them the Bismarck. All right. So I'm just gonna try and cover this Grover. But we do want the cap. That's for sure. Okay, we got a. Conquer up there, that's not good. I think if we can get this. Now that Grover, he's going to have that destroyer that we saw a couple of minutes ago. He's going to suicide him. So I don't think A's a tenable hold. But if we can hold on to B and D for a few minutes, we should have a nice lead at least. I think this guy's already dead, but we'll find out. He wants me to go over there and help him. Maybe I can do that. I don't... Red seems like they're just sitting there. I don't know what they're doing, to be honest with you. There's a champagne. Robert didn't get whacked by the torps, that's good. Ah, right, we'll put the HE in there for a salvo. Nice. That's a good job. Conqueror, baby. What's up, Mr. Madhouse? If you can get A, we're going to be real strong. Looks like these guys are getting depleted, but... Red's taking a few shots, too. I don't know how the Grover got that fucked up. Hopefully he's smart enough to stay on A and capture it. Radar. Yeah, I don't know, this is not looking that good.
Well, I have the score advantage, but team HP wise, we're not looking so hot. Now we know he's within our radar, so as soon as he drops the smoke, we're going to go ahead and radar for our team. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. This is the fucking game right here. Use your guns, Luke. Oh. They're not even shooting this thing. There you go, numb nuts. Alright, so we got fifty-six point lead, fifty-four. Fuck. I feel like these, like, radios like the dolphins in, uh, Life Aquatic, where they're like, I don't know if they just can't hear us or they don't understand. So I'm trying to tell your team what's going on. How they could throw a game where we had a three fucking cap lead the whole time, I don't know. I don't know how they can fuck that up. Shoot. Pull the fucking trigger. What's going on here? Alright. Well, unfortunately they're flipping A, which we can't have since we're not up on the score. I think it was a full health conqueror, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. Looking on the map, he's like basically pointing away from it. He looks almost broadside there. I always want to be double checking the map. When you're looking at the angling. Yeah, alright, that was a fun game. The ship is on fire. The legendary tier players. Nice. I didn't think you could shoot me, but you gotta remember what that central the A cap over there, there's a lot of dips that they can actually surprisingly shoot through with ease. Uh, not the best effort. All right, what else do we want? Yeah, the ZF6, I've been, we could try that one. I've been experimenting with just playing AP the whole game. 
Seems like it's probably the better way to go. Nagi, the best tier 7 tech tree battleship. That's eh, pretty dang good. A little wonky. Yeah, Richie. Richie's tough to beat. I don't know. Kansas, pretty good. The Vlad's always a good time. And there's a lot of good ones. What's up, Tube Blade? How you doing? 148 watching 77 likes. Let's see if we can hit 100 likes here. Give the stream a boost. All right, what do we got? We got a biscuit and we got a kid. We got a Benson and a Yadachi. Chat's been choosing a Magi. We can do a poll here after this game. Top Tech Tree Battleship. Tier 7. Kangaroo got a buff. Well, the Lennon, yeah, the Lennon's not Tech Tree. Luckily, the Lennon was pretty tough to get because uh, that one's got a little bit of zip on it. First tier 7 for you was Bismarck, yeah. That's not an easy ship to play. I had a Bismarck video the other day, but you gotta have a little bit of luck just with deployments and then... Let's see if this guy clips all these. I'm sure he's gonna. Oh, he only hit half of them, that's pretty good. <laughs> Give him a nice gap to go right through. Where's premium BB in Lennon? Well, that's a controversial opinion. I don't know. I only got to play, I don't know, five, ten games in it, but it was pretty damn good when I had it. Oops. I'll keep the AP in here. We got pretty decent hit values. Kid! Let's see if we can best the mighty kid. Luckily, we got some good support. Yeah, once we get to that angle, we gotta switch to HE. I think I got him pretty low. Oh shit, he was in there. Kicking the kid's ass with this thing. Yeah, AP against the DD is usually that's not going to be very effective, but I feel like it works. Alright, we better go over there and help them. I'm going to try and go through B just to get the capture. They already got their base. We got an Atlanta over here. We got other problems. Backline Betty and all. That's always a great sign. Get on B, but this flint ain't gonna let that happen. 
Yeah, we get a lot of decent values with these guns here. So I think I just kind of missed the mark when I was trying to figure the ship out. Ground control to Major Tom. How's the air up there, Chief? What's up, Lost on Sight? How you doing? This is probably... I think we're a two-on-one plus a flint, so we're probably going to die here, but I don't really see this game working out very well for us. Ah, motherfucker. That was lucky. Oh shit. Ah oh, fuck, we're in trouble. Jesus Christ. Got him once. <laughs> I gotta just hope to God he comes around broadside, I can hit him. I don't know how much health he's got, but I feel like we should have a decent chunk out of him. Got the Udachi. So if we can actually kill this flint, we're actually set up decently. No, we're not going to kill him. Fuck. Son of a bitch. How's your full HP doing for you, Chief? Oh, it's a nice calm day out there if you're in the back. No one caps F, yeah, no shit. What the fuck, man? But yeah, I don't know. The ZF6 is growing on me. So we're gonna keep playing around with that one. I just, when I was testing it out, I kept losing Destroyer v Destroyer fights, and then you saw there, I mean, the kid was kind of in a two on one, so he's probably gonna lose anyways, but we kill you. Kind of kicked the living shit out of him. Oh no, we're one in three. That's not a good start at all. I don't know how much blame I need to take for the losses, but we gotta take some. Let's try a little, uh, what can we do? Let's try Aeobo. We haven't played this one for a while. Torped like 2k damage. Yeah, I don't think the, we'd have to check the stats on that one. Usually the German torps aren't the strongest, you know. You usually have a pretty good reload, decent distance, decent speed, all that stuff, but the damage, kind of the low end of the pack. Prepared for an invasion from shards, yeah, what the fuck. Ah... Uh. Got an Icarus and a Venom. Man, I don't trust either of those. The Oleg? Yeah, I'll probably bust out the Oleg. 40 second Torp reload. Yeah, you could, I mean, I, I wasn't paying that close attention that game, but they're definitely reloading quickly. But usually the trade off of that is they're not as much damage coming out of them. I don't know. It's If our team shot the radar cruises there, I think we would have absolutely been able to dominate that game, but we had a Flint, Atlanta, and something else running around unchecked while our guys now was checking out the Hubble telescope. Probably just downloaded the game recently, I mean, I get it. 
But doesn't mean he's not kind of throwing the game. <laughs> Torps down here. Look at that, man. If you get some torps on that thing. What is this torp in this direction? Are you not even paying attention to what's going on? This is like the best torp target I've ever seen in this game. He launches the complete opposite way. <laughs> oh, man. These guys, I tell you. Now he's got him down. Venom has two launchers per side, right? Oh, God. I think we've ticked him off. Get out of the way, man. Holy shit. So, look at the map here. This guy is literally surrounded by like five ships. Our last remaining destroyer, like, we're about to go one in four, because these guys just can't even fucking look at what's going on around them. Jesus. You cannot be surrounded as a destroyer player, because as soon as you get spotted, you're going to get blown up. Great game, man. <laughs> Boise is super heal in action there. I honestly think it might be with the time slot I play or when I stream, because normally when I play at night, like, the incompetence is there, but it's not nearly this bad. I just don't know what's going on in Europe or in Asia at this time, but you got a lot of goofballs out there for some reason. This guy's not even taking a shot at this thing. Holy shit, dude. Watch the way it works, Russ. Welcome. It's gonna be a lost fucking central today. I can already tell this. These guys are just not... Capable.
We're getting a little far back here. We gotta really push these cabs. I wanna get towards C, because we got a destroyer, we got a cruiser over there. I mean... In terms of what I can deal with, that's probably our best shot. Yeah, I got the Carolina. I'm assuming Destroyer is full health. He just came off of Suicide Rushing uh, Pensacola that didn't fight back. So he's probably feeling pretty good about his chances against us. We're, of course, are going to fuck him up if we see him. There's no doubt about that. But we need to get on these caps. We need to get on them right now. We got all sorts of problems here. Budione decides to open up on us. All the torps coming this way. So Budione can tear us up with the AP. We also got this Mayhem, which we do have to be careful about. And the Gneisnall, of course, if he ever gets a clear shot at us. There you are, Gabna. Oops. Ooh, we're gonna hit it. Oh, come on! Two feet away from that thing. That might have been a double. That would have been a badass double. Alright, booty on it. We need cap pressure, but I think we're gonna have to win by killing this team here, so we're gonna be pretty aggressive. We've been down multiple caps for a huge swath of the game. We there's nothing on C for us to go over there. We need to combine cap control and damage at this point in time. So we're going to shift to B. Fuck. We need just some modicum of support from these guys. Just a smidge. Trying to cycle these damage controls as much as we can here. Another fucking destroyer. Come on, turn the engine on, boys. Can't even kill this thing. <laughs> okay, we gotta kill the destroyer for sure. Tempted to get AP there. If he stays broadside, I got. Thank God his guns are the other ring. Need about 7k. That's gonna be a couple rips. Don't angle, don't angle, then. Hit him. There you go. Where is this son of a bitch? Oh, it's the Budione, baby. This is gonna be great. Fuck yeah, I can't believe we got this win. That was a fucking game right there. That's one of my better games I've played in a long time. Goodbye, Gabna. Come 
Holy God. Put that one on the board. <laughs> that was a fucking game right there. Let's go. Yeah, that's 6k on that guy. That was a risk, because if he turns away, we don't get the damage, you know. We're trying to get these guys dead as soon as we can, because they're whipping the living shit out of our team. 34 on the fucking Aoba. Put that one on the board. Hell yeah. You hear life. <laughs> yeah, the team, I don't know. It's, I mean, we had some decent scores here, so someone must have been doing something right, but... Everything I was looking at was a little confusing. <laughs> All right, that's why we play the game. Yeah, let's get the like spike after that, guys. If you don't like that one, I got nothing for you. The hood, I don't know what he was looking at. I saw his guns were pointed the other way. I'm like, okay, we got to do this. What's up, Jason? How you doing? Thank you, Uncle. Mm. It's like you're not too late. Uh, you caught the tail end of that one. That was, that was decent. You guys in the moods for... Uh, Hey, what was the worst ship? Yeah, I don't know. That's the Japanese cruisers in general. People don't seem to like as much as I do. Yahagi. Let's do our poll, though. So let's see. For the tier 7 tech tree battleships, I want to give what you guys think are the best. I don't know how many options we can do. Let's see. So we can do four options. So I'll kind of give you my picks, and then we'll see what you guys think. Let's see, Amagi, Kansas, Iowa, Vanguard, Richie, Vlad. Hmm. Be kind of blasphemous if I left the Iowa off, but I think I'm gonna. So I'm gonna go Amagi, Kansas. I know a lot of you guys probably haven't played that one much. Rich. And the Vlad. Let's see what you guys think is the best. Struggled with Megami. Uh, Megami, it's just kind of, okay, I'm at tier 7 now. I'm in big ships that uh, if battleships hit them, we blow up. So uh, Megami is low uh, tolerance for error. And especially the build I run on it... Uh, This Azura Lane of Tago. With this perk right here, you boost the damage output, but you increase your incoming damage. So this one, sometimes I'll play the Megami for you guys, and the game lasts two minutes, and you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> sometimes the game lasts 15 minutes, and we get up 200k damage, you know? I mean, it's just... That AO of 133k for a Tier 5 cruiser, with I think we got maybe one Tor Pit, if that... We almost fucked that Gneisen up. Remember that? If we would have hit those three Torps on them, that's probably close to uh, 170, 180k damage last game. Uh, yeah, I don't know. And I'd say the Aoba, well, you start off at the 203s and the Furutaka, but they progressively get better and better. I mean, Furutaka's guns, yeah, they don't feel that great usually. Aobas start to feel pretty good. Miyoko, oh yeah, and then Megami's like... Fucking Muhammad Ali jab after jab, you know. Just wears you down over the course of the match. What are you guys asking for? Yahagi? I don't even know what that is. What is Yahagi? What's up, Skipper? I thought it was a tier 6. I thought it was this. I have no idea what Yahagi is. I assume it's Japanese. It doesn't sound too Francois. All right, Yahagi, Yahagi, Yahagi. Uh, 
Uh, what? There it is. Oh, yeah, this little thing. Yeah, we could try it. I don't know. Tier 4, yeah, I forgot about this one. Let's see how our pull's doing. Looks like it's tight. You got a Magi in the lead. Which is strange, because I don't really see a Magi that often. Now, I know we left Io off here. That's probably what a lot of you guys were hoping for. You got a boat that I don't? I don't know. Uh, so far, so good, V2. We've had some trash games today. Some losses that I didn't want to take, but then we had a really good game last game, so... Kind of makes up for it. Mexican chips. <laughs> What's up, Blaze? Yeah, the Megami, you gotta be careful. Like, I don't like to just island camp with it. I, I don't want to play... Japanese cruiser after Japanese cruiser today, but maybe we could play the Megami later. I don't know. I'd like to play him flowing, moving. Let's see what our torp sitch is on this thing. Looks like we got some torps. Two launchers, yes. That's a quick shot. Don't be the first thing the enemy sees. Yeah, that's pretty good advice. It's just, I mean, all the new players in the game are in a mad rush to get to the higher tiers, and that's... Your ship at higher tiers is just as strong as everyone else's, so you don't get better by your ship getting better. But now you're playing against ships that, if you're fucking up, which you're going to be doing a lot as a new player, you're going to be killed very quickly. I mean, you can... Like at this Omaha, if I'm in uh, Arkansas, for instance, and he's doing what he's doing, he's already dead. So you can get punished at low tiers as well, but... It's less likely to happen as quick. He gone! Ah, uh, the zoning torps strike again. Okay. So. Hey, old Tago. Yeah, it's an interesting commander. I mean, I like it just as much for the torp concealment. It's definitely one of the stronger commanders in the game. I got it on most of my destroyer builds. There you are. Let's see if we can get in this. Clemson smoke should be a nice two minute American smoke. So we can get in that, we can wreck this Omaha for show. We're cool as long as they don't launch the planes, but as soon as they do that we get spotted and we don't want to get whacked in this thing. Alright, so our flank's doing pretty well. We got the numbers on the other flank. I don't know what's going on. The 
Let's see how many of our destroyers he can kill before he goes down. <laughs> He's shooting eight P at him, so probably none. times we'd want to pressure the base in this situation we're close we're only one two three no two squares away they got a destroyer of the god here it could be an inch from our base they got another destroyer down yonder they don't have any battleship threats left we got two so we'd like to keep them alive i don't know this game we should win but i could see it unraveling really quickly so we're just gonna try and get in the middle of the board and Uh, see what happens there. You borrow a sonar, this one. I don't know what he, this guy's doing here. The ship that we were worried about capping, we now know exactly where he is. This guy might be AFK. Full health Phoenix. Oh, we're just gonna gamble, because this Mutsuki's on the base. Uh, the other destroyer is way down yonder. So we can rush this destroyer here, blow up this Phoenix. AFK or not, we'll fuck them up. And then we'll be on their base. Uh, because we've seen where the destroyers are and they're not immediately threatening the base, now we're going to have to keep an eye on things. We might have to go back to defend. If you're playing this game and you actually look at the map, your baseline assumption should be you're going to defend on capture the base mode games. Sometimes the situation will uh, come up differently. Yeah, this guy's not even playing the game. But if you've gotten to the point where you're looking on the map, most of your teammates aren't. They're never going to know what's going on in the game, so you got to be the one that's paying attention. Looks like this game's falling apart for him. Is this AP capable of doing any damage? I don't know. We have no evidence to suggest it is. Alright. So they got a flyboy, they got a cruiser, and they got a destroyer that's on the edge of the map. So I don't see how we could possibly lose this one. Squirrel coming in out. I know this takes a lot of your time. Appreciate what you do. Thank you very much, Squirrel. Appreciate that. Yeah, it's, it takes a lot of time, but I do enjoy it. But well, it's nice. It's a lot nice. I used to stream back in the day of Fortnite. We did stream for like 5 to 10 people usually. And then gave that up for a little while. Got sick of that. <laughs> and then uh, started playing World of Tanks. I'm like, oh, let's just try doing YouTube videos instead. So made those. Spent a lot of time. A lot of money. And our videos, some of them were blowing up. You know, like for me, blowing up then was a few hundred views. A lot of them were getting, I don't know, 50, 100 views, whatever. So then when this game came out, we got a good audience for it. And it makes it a lot more enjoyable, more rewarding if people are actually watching what you're putting all your time and effort into. So I appreciate it. But yeah, if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't do it. Looking at the mini map is for some noobs, yeah. I. If you're new to this game or you haven't done this yet, there is no evidence against turning this all the way up. Or no, there's no reason. It only makes the map like 10% bigger, whatever it is, but... I would like to have it 
33% bigger than it is. I mean, they should just expand it all the way to the corner and pull it down another 10, 20% into the main game. If you're, like, right here, that's how far away from the center of the screen this carrier's got to be to get blocked by the map. I mean, you got to make it as big as possible. You need to be spending as much time as you can looking at it. Am I doing this full-time? Hell no, I'd be fucking... I'd be bankrupt in a matter of days if I quit my job to do this. <laughs> no, I get I get a little nice uh, side income, but it's not uh, not nearly enough for me. I gotta, you know, I live on my own. I have a house payment, so I some of the guys that do this full time, I think they have people that can support them. But uh, I don't I don't see a way in terms of analyzing the size of the World of Warships Legends community. I don't think it's big enough to actually make a full time living. Now, some people, I know Spartan's tempting to do it, but I'm pretty sure he has a different living situation than I do. So his monetary needs may be less robust. But, uh, yeah, I just, I don't think it's possible for me to play this game for a living. Birdman coming in out, thank you very much. Don't know. Alright, yeah, yeah, Hoggy, I do like that one. I don't know, I wish the AP had a little bit more zip, but... Not too bad. Nerf the guy is shooting at me. <laughs> got your PS5. Nice. Yeah, Fortnite. I don't know. I enjoyed... I got that game like the day it dropped. And I played it for probably two or three seasons. It looks like it's become a dumpster fire since then. But... Uh, it is what it is. Okay, what could we do here? Let's what catches the old eye. Let's go toward the back of the pack. See what we haven't played for a while. Yeah, I mean you guys, you guys do support the channel quite a bit. I don't want to sound like I'm downplaying that or anything. That that's what blows my mind. You know, you guys. I've had some guys that have been sub here since before this game came out. Some of the guys from the World of Tanks days. Uh, a lot of you guys, since the game came out, I'm all for you. We haven't played for a while. Birdman with another hot spot coming in. Thank you very much, Birdman. Oh, the Amagi. Yeah, I suppose it did win the poll. I guess it's Japanese day on this channel. I was testing it out with the secondary build. I think that's probably the way to go. Yeah, we only got five five kilometers. Yeah, I'll leave it on there for now. What the hell? Now nah, let's put on the uh, put on this goofballer. DD's importance increases the longer the game comes on. Yeah. Out of here, view tutorials. Thanks for swinging out. Yeah, I mean, the destroyers are always valuable. Sometimes, like, the strongest play at the end of the game is just to sit in open water and then spot ships. So you're, let's say you got a, two ships on your team, you're the destroyer. So you got three overall. You got two buddies or two teammates and then, like, two or three guys on the enemy team. If you can keep those guys spotted and then they're just sitting in the back, your, your teammates shooting them safely, then they're trading for free. And that's... A, Solid way to win the game. Birdman with another hot spot coming in. Thank you very much, Birdman. Leveled Mimbelli and started grinding Trento. Yeah, I initially I had uh, Luigi. But uh, I've switched over to Mimbelli. If we get this Transformer guy, we'll check him out. That one probably would be a decent build, too. Yeah, what do we got? Malfi, yeah, I didn't. I got mixed feelings on it, but I usually I do enjoy playing it. I kind of like reviewed the Italian line, made a video. I think my first Amalfi video was basically saying I don't really like the line, and then like two days later, I'm like, eh, Amalfi's eh, all right. <laughs> so I don't know.
Appreciate it, Birdman. Appreciate everyone tuning in, hanging out on a Friday. Should be back tomorrow morning, and then Monday morning we're going to be doing a stream covering the, the update in depth. So hopefully we'll see you guys there for those. Got to head out, Spiral. All right, take it easy. Siegfried. If we can catch him early, that'd be nice. The Siegfried's kind of a dangerous... Yes. So tired of CVs. I don't know. I, don't, I was pretty nervous when they were coming out. They're not as bad as they could be. Let's just put it that way. At least not yet. They might be tempted to make them worse. Yeah, we're going to have to use this plane here. I forgot I got the knockout build. Should be using these planes when we're shooting these things. I gotta spot the torps though. Oh my god, look at those widespreads. You could park a fucking Namagi and a half in there. God bless the widespread torpedoes. Okay. God damn! That's two shots in a row. The minute I get it off, they change their mind and say it's blocked. Ooh! Got half of it through and half counted, so that's good. Pensacola in a tier 7 game. Where are you going? He's gonna kill the Sharn Horse? No, he can't kill the Sharn Horse, kitty. TVs aren't popular in Legends. Yeah, I hope they never are. I just... They're not too bad right now. They could be worse. Gotta figure out where this destroyer is here. Jowja. Oh, we got the webcams back. Guy doesn't even know I'm here or what? Ho! So if you don't know what we got on this build, we got this guy called Arthas the Cold. And whenever you got this plane in the air, your damage goes way up. I think it's like 20% boost. And then this... This uh, anime character we got on the main build cycles the plane faster. So it's kind of, it's a very, 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 very niche build, and half the time when you pull the trigger, it doesn't even work, because you miss everything. Where the fuck is going on back here? How many caps you guys got back here? Ah, damn. Can't live these people do anything. Ah, uh, Joja. <sighs> I mean, this is a game where like kicking the piss out of these guys, and we're gonna lose this shit. I don't know what's going on in these high tier games, man. I really don't understand it. We don't have any options. We have to take some of these shots. I have to capture this cap, and to do that, we need this thing blocked. We need this thing dead over here, so... We're going to take a shot or two from our right-hand side, and now these guys are blocked. At least this Nagato should die, and now the cap... Oh, he's still going to flip the cap. Fuck. Forgot about the Z36 or whatever that is. Mr. 8-Ball Paul, thanks for subbing. Appreciate it. Come on! Alright, we have to do this. It... 
We're going to lose C. We need to give these guys a little bit of confidence, so we're going to have to just jump into this fight over here. I was trying to cover C a little bit, but we can't do that. We don't have any ships over there to do anything anyway, so it doesn't make that much sense. This fucking shit, though, this should be like a tier one play. Like, let's hide, piss our pants, and run. That's the fucking strategy you came up with to win this game. Very annoying. Turpets must have run out of gas. They're refueling. No shot this game. Assad, thanks for subbing. No shot once we got these guys on our team. That was a guaranteed loss. What's up, Thomas? How you doing? E-base. Yeah, I don't know why people think there's caps back here that you have to control. Just look at the map. You're like, damn, there's only three caps, and they're all in the middle of the map. Why are we playing the edge? It doesn't make any sense. It's confusing. Once you actually look at the map, you'd be like, what the fuck am I doing? Alright, so we're just going to have to get on A. Crossfires be damned. They might kill us, but we don't. This is not a situation where we get to choose... To do what makes sense or what we'd rather do. The teams put you in the situation where they're not going to get on the cap. We already know that. That's been firmly established since the opening bell. Uh, so you got to do it. You're the Amagi. To get in the A cap, you got to crossfire between whatever the fuck they got on their team. If you're trying to win the game, you have to make the play. You're going to die. You're going to lose the game anyways, but you got to try it. Now, if they would just fucking do their job to begin with, it'd be a lot easier. Alright. Oh, the chick's flipping out a ball, but we can't deal with it. God damn it, we need him to die. This thing was broadside, now he's protecting himself. Dude! Jesus Christ. Uh, for some reason, we're not reset. I don't understand that. Alright. So these guys aren't actually challenging the caps. This guy is... I, I cannot believe that Turpitz is still alive. Alright, I got the Joja. If Surrey goes on here, kills this destroyer, which he should be able to do, we win the game. Uh, but the odds of him fucking doing that are so fucking low at this point in time. I wouldn't even bet three cents that he could handle that. Defend the base! Jesus Christ, guys. 
up two ships and we're probably going to lose this game. I don't really understand this sometimes. Some people think they get extra points at the end of the game with full health. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. I don't know what the hell this thing's doing. I'm gonna hit the island anyway, so we might as well take one final shot. I really don't know what the hell's going on there. Oh, fuck. He's worth 100 points, which isn't insignificant. Now, we do have the Surrey actually moving in there and the keys in there, so fingers crossed they can actually pull this off. I assume this guy put his controller down to buff his Dewey. Alright, they figured it out. I'll give him a good game for that. Cruiser should be charging into B-cap, absolutely. Initially, he should have been shooting this turpits here. All he needed was a fire. Um, but I think he was sitting on the other side of here, shooting at whatever that battleship was. Now, if he had the smoke going, I don't know. Does the Surrey have a smoke? I don't think it does. If it does, it might have been a decent play, but... Uh, that game was way too hard. That should have been a lot easier. Hello. <laughs> kind of creepy. Yeah, you do. What's up, Anthony? How you doing? Sorry, he doesn't? Yeah. Just on our heal. I didn't think it did. So, I mean, he was sitting... He was basically anchored on this island right here. Exposed to that battleship. Oh. So he was kind of in a dangerous spot to begin with. Let's see if we can get anything through there. Nope. But, you know, he was he was really low. I think we checked his health. He looked like he had about 5k. I mean, at that point in time, you gotta remove these battleships. We needed A. We hadn't even captured A at that point in time. And he can't shoot the ships that are guarding it. And then, but once, whatever that battleship threat was to be, then he needs to gun the fucking engine. This destroyer should have been dead a while ago. It's so, alright in the end, if it works, it works, but. Like I say, that game. This game should have been a lot easier than it was. Can we get a he gone? We got three in one game earlier. Just stay tuned. I'm sure we'll probably get another one at some point. Maybe even right now. What? Yeah, it was just to, not to pick on him, but not the strongest Surrey game I've ever seen. Okay, well. We're getting some wins today. It hasn't been <laughs> easy at all, I'll tell you that. Yeah, Moggy. Moggy won the poll. You guys said it. you thought it was the best tech tree. Tier 7. Oh, it's, it's definitely an option. Alright. What's up, Jay? How you doing? French AP. Yeah, that French AP is underrated. A lot of those times you see those... See the ships, they just shoot HE. Now, the HE is pretty good, so I get it. But the AP, when applicable, dangerous. Is this a win streak? I can't imagine it is. We probably got like two or three wins. 
Yeah, we got four after losing. Oh! I thought we lost this game. We were counting it as a loss. How the fuck did I get second place in this game? <laughs> that one we thought we lost. We've actually won one, two, three, four, five, and two. That's not horrible. And these two games, man, I did not... Uh, didn't enjoy how we lost them. That one we just got our shit kicked in. Oh yeah, the Mutsu we got blown up, I think. Oh, we got torped by the Akatsuki. That's what happened. So that one was my fault. That was just a shitty game. But the Alaska game, I don't think we should have lost that one. Amalfi. Alright, alright, we can do it. I was thinking about it earlier, and then, yeah, alright, let's play it. Let's see what happens. Jervis did some work, yeah. Still on your way to the winning 13 in a row? That's true. <laughs> ah, we're boosting it up to 143 likes. Let's see if we can get up to 150. Appreciate everyone tuning in, though. It's always great to play with a lot of people watching, hanging out. Tears of the Desert. I think we just played this a moment ago. Alright, so what do we got? We want to get that Fiji off the board for our destroyers. The Otago. The York. Battleships. So this one, my whole concept is just speed and uh, surprise. Sometimes that works, sometimes not. Inbound buff to the Bismarck. She could become the best tier 7 battleship. It's possible. Definitely possible. The main problem with that ship is the guns. So if we're going to dramatically improve them as planned, then I believe it should improve. Alright, so this ship, we're probably the fastest ship in the game. What do they got? Yeah, we're almost certainly the fastest ship in this game. Maybe the Otago B, they could set that one up for speed if they want it. But we don't have a really good starting position to get into weird spots. Like, if I was on this flank here, maybe we'd try and get way up here or something. Try and control A early. Nine point two concealment. Yeah, that's not too bad. Yeah, I basically just looked at what the ship does, and the only two things it does well, on paper at least, are speed and concealment, so kinda went all in on that. Like right here, the Fiji's like, oh shit. Probably wasn't expecting that. Probably not. So an 18k opener on that thing, that's pretty decent. One of the more dangerous ships in the game. Let's see if you can replicate that. I think my main problem with the ship is I really wanted to force AP when I was learning how to play the ship. Because the tier 5, the tier 6 have glorious AP rounds. And this AP is decent if you get shots like that, but against like battleships, spraying this thing with AP I don't think works. We'll try it on the Leon just for uh, educational purposes. Yeah, 1584. We'd probably get better results just using the, uh... Oh! God damn it, you motherfucker! Was not paying attention. That was not good at all. Yeah, we don't want to trade an Amalfi Tier 7, even for the Fiji. Fiji's good, but... 
We don't want to trade a tier 7 cruiser for a tier 6 cruiser. That wasn't a good play at all. They got the Akatsuki, though, so we're going to cross our fingers and hope these guys can carry us, because that was not what we needed. Let's just keep an eye on these torps before we go. No. Rust-Oleum, yeah. <laughs> I got a Roma pulled up. Let's pull this guy up. Look like an Italian cruiser game. Yeah. That was my fault. I just took my eye off the... I was so focused on thinking about the AP and the results we were getting that I forgot we had two ships broadside to us. Momentarily, but that's all it takes. That's what I'm saying constantly about these high tier ships. Like, oh, I'm going to get up to a tier 7 ship. Now I'm going to be good. Now if you make a mistake like that, your game is over very quickly. There's going to be people that can actually aim at tier 7, and there's ships that have better accuracy than your low tier ships. So, if you want to try that bullshit, you're going to get your ass kicked very quickly. As we generously demonstrated for everyone there. <laughs> Any cruiser. Yeah, if you're angled, and we were close. I think we were about 10 km from the Fiji, and probably about 11 from the Colorado. Which, those guns are going to be connecting at those distances. Uh, you know, we took a whack from the Fiji. I'm like, if that's all we took, then we got away with one there. But as soon as the Colorado pulled the trigger, we knew we had fucked up. You're probably wondering how we got to this situation. <laughs> Mistakes were made. That's how it happened. Sacrifice himself to prove a point. Exactly. Thank you, Ian. Anytime that we make like a really glaring mistake like that, it's usually just to illustrate a point. Now, I might not narrate it as it's happening, but we'll quickly swoop in with revisionist history and uh, point out that that whole sequence there was just to demonstrate, number one, the speed, the concealment, the ferocity of that Amalfi. But then, once we'd countered the Fiji, then we were... Moving on to another lesson. How to get your shit kicked in at tier 7. Sit there broadside, not moving. So we gotta... The lessons are coming fast and furious. Block shot, yeah, but by the time we pull around here, we're already gonna be reloaded, and... There was a chance we could maybe sneak a shot through there, so... No harm, no fall. Although we do have a shot, or a target here, rather. The Moonshin would be nice to blow up early, and we're going to risk Torpedo Strike on this lane, obviously, but I want to be aggressive on this thing. Because this ship, we don't want to let it run around for the whole game. Near three destroyers, you could kill all three of them. Shit, what do we shoot here? Says on our just job description, why the fuck are you guys doing this? Our job description countered to the cruisers, so even though we got this shot, which I really, really, really want to take. This guy, again, is attempting to kill all three quarters of our team's destroyers as an opening move, which should win the game if you can do it. Alrighty, did not get him. So this, this looks like an ass kicking to me. I swear, about two thirds of the time I tell these fuckers to get back. Says the support me command instead. I don't know why. They might wipe our whole team out in about three minutes here. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ, what a match. What a fucking match. There goes your win streak. That's probably, those of you guys that watched that uh, when CC's attack video, aside from that game, this is probably the quickest ass kicking I've seen in at least six months. That was just complete fucking domination. I've never seen a team get their shit kicked. That might have even been worse than that other video. And the only two guys we got left, or three guys, they're, this is it. We're off in the corner of the map here, so. We have no pressure on any caps. That's a probably about a six or seven hundred point loss when that one comes through. Impressive. That was very good. Usually you do not see that big of an ass kicking. High tier gameplay has been the worst I've ever seen it. Yeah, I I don't know. Like, that Moochin could have literally killed three destroyers in the span of 30 seconds. Imagine if we didn't pull forward there. I mean, we risked our ship just to make sure. I was trying to kill the Moochin, but we got him. Uh, we got him to decide to move. Which kept those destroyers alive for a little while. But then they just sat on the fucking cab while the whole team surrounded them. It's like, you guys... We bought you a little bit of time. Get out of there. Regroup. Get some distance. But not a single one of them left. Seen a tier a team lose seven ships in under five minutes. I'm pretty sure that's what we just pulled off there. That was fast. That was impressive, man. That was most impressive. Legendary game on fire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the uh, the side game, right, that a lot of you guys were in? Yeah, I, we had a med member stream, I think it was like last weekend, where... Uh, a lot of the guys didn't get in my game, but they were on land of fire, and then, like, by the time we deployed, they're all like, okay, well, that one's over. It's like, what the hell happened over there? Yeah, these high-tier games, man, it's... That's what I'm saying, like, if you're brand new, you don't know what you're doing, and then you put yourself in, in games with those... The ships at Tier 7 are really good. The players are not good at all. That's not a good combo. Okay. These guys get in front of me. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on the game. I'm trying to mentally change my approach. Like, if if we're in a game se uh, session... Like, most of the wins today have been pulled out of my ass. You know, we're not really... Team-wise, we're not winning games at all. Like, horrible strategy, whatever. I think at that point in time, we just might get some, like, backline cruisers, like French cruisers would be good, and just try and farm damage, you know. Pad the stats. So if we're not going to win the games anyways, we might as well stop dying, trying to make winning plays, you know. <laughs> bigger bullet sequel, bigger, bigger punish. The super cab at the bottom of the map, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Now, I don't, you know, we talk about this pretty much every stream. I don't expect new players to know what the fuck they're doing. Okay? You can't. This game is too complicated. But when I load in on a tier 4 game, I expect it. When it's tier 7, I expect you to know the fucking scoring, at least. If you, if you haven't figured that out, or you're just not trying to win the game, then fuck you. I really don't have any sympathy in that situation. Alright, we'll test out this AP here. So, like, a lot of times the long-range shots with the AP wouldn't be worth taking for most cruisers. This one probably should be worth checking out. You can fucking line up a shot here. We got Rue. We don't have a heavy... Oh, he turned out. We don't have a heavy focus on the AP, but... Should still be a worthy shell to, shell to shoot. See, we're getting 1420. It's not too bad for two hits. Oop. Trying to do some science, guys. Yeah, we got nothing there. Yeah, nothing there, so... That didn't really pan out. But, I, I find it to be... It's worthwhile to test the shots, at least. Alright, let's go kill that destroyer. That's this guy's job. He's a Mutsuki. You might be saying, how is he going to kill a uh, Jaguar? I get that, but he can spot the Jaguar. He can throw torps in the Jaguar's direction. But, Japanese destroyer is beelining to the closest battleship. Not trying to win the game. Got a 12 game win streak last night. Nice. Yeah, I, I, the last two or three nights, I mean, I've maybe lost one or two games this today it's not been so rewarding i just i'm starting to convince myself that this time slot that i always stream on is like just when the asylum gets out in britain or something like that i don't know what's going on <laughs> okay so Got some torps down there. All stations, reporting the position of a target. We'll go finish him off. Oh, see this shot. Konigsberg, 11 kilometers. We should be able to fuck this guy up. Let's see if we can. Main objective here, counter this destroyer. Secondary objective, while we're at it. We're trying to be productive at the same time. Fuck this thing up. Dangerous ship, we don't want it running amok. Of course, he doesn't want to cooperate. Which is good. I wouldn't want to cooperate either if I was him. So this is the risky part. The guy could be in this gap. He could be over here even. But by traversing here, we gotta go broadside to the expect. I think he's maybe back here. He might even be docked at the. Yeah, there he is right there. Yeah. I was thinking he might have been docked in that restaurant over there. <laughs> All right, Jaguar, if that is your real name. What's going on with this blue action? Oh, that's when we're on fire. Now he's letting the crew off in town. Yeah, 
All right, so we did our main job. Oops. Fuck. So they're up 40 points. Fortunately, we just lost a good chunk of our HP. What I tell you, this guy's gonna do. Do I know what's going on, or do I know what's going on? All right, got a Dallas that puts us up forty. If we get Konigsberg, then we got battleships left. Oops. Now the Mutsuki, as long as he doesn't kill himself, which is a huge if. He can maybe get one of those battleships, or he can get on the base if he gets his head spaced together. And we can potentially kite or use islands and shoot over them. We don't have a lot of HP to play around with a battleship fight, but we can probably get away with one if need be. I'm going to put the guns over here. We're close to the edge here. We don't have any room to work. We're in the corner, basically. So I'd rather get back in the middle of the map. That'll give us more playmaking flexibility, target selection, and a little bit more room to maneuver. Like, what what are we thinking right now? Like, okay, we got this thing. Yeah, we want to kill him, but... Okay, we're shooting a full health Arizona in a 2v1 with 10,000 health. Hey, you might be saying to yourself, why don't you chime with the guns? We're going to have to, because this guy's... That's the play you made. It's like one of those situations late in the game where you understand defending the base is the correct move, but your team doesn't. Well, if you don't support your team, they're just going to get their asses kicked. So you kind of... Sometimes they'll force your hand. It's like you're shooting me. What the hell are you doing, man? You got a one-shot. So me... Oh. I guess we're a one-shot, too. I forgot. But you don't want to be moving into them. I got news for you. The battleship guns get more accurate the closer you get. All of them except for the champagne, I believe. California might actually be shooting at me. In which case, we're already dead. We just don't know yet. Alright, that was not smooth at all. God damn. These are all correct. They should be trying to get rid of me because they can 2v1 this guy, 3v1 him in this case. So, everyone on that team should be shooting at me right now, and I think they know it. This guy, he's fucked. You know, they don't need to focus on killing him, and this thing... Not inclined to win the game. He should be on the base. He's gonna be over there anyways. Get on the base. If you can do exactly what you're doing now anyways, but you can be on the base at the same time, do it. Spiral coming in hot, rejoining, I believe. Thank you for becoming a member. But yeah, these Japanese fucking destroyers are the worst players in the game, bar none. No offense. I know there's a couple good ones out there. But in ge this guy could actually have won this game by now. He'd just gotten on the base. Force the California into you, then he can nuke them. And they have no one else that can defend right now. Thank you, Spiral. Appreciate it. Does the champagne get less accurate close in? I believe so, yes. In my experience, that's the case. I've never seen the raw data from the lab or anything, but... Oh. One more before we die here. 
Now he's on the base. Let's see if this Kelly can get back over. He might actually win this game if he's not dumb enough to shoot. Because this thing, to turn around and actually get the speed to go back here, is going to take him a couple minutes. Now, when I say, if this guy doesn't fuck up, this guy has done nothing this entire game to make me assume that he's not going to fuck up. I wouldn't be surprised if he got off the base right now to go nuke this thing. In fact, I'd almost be more surprised if he doesn't get off this base. Look at this fucking shit. And he shoots. This guy literally just watched, lost the fucking game for no reason. <laughs> How dumb do you have to fucking be to play a Japanese destroyer nonstop? You have to be moronic. That is just... All there is to say, I don't want to pick on him, I'm sure he's new, but that is so fucking dumb, and it just wasted the last 13 minutes of all of our lives. Just sit still. I know you have ADD coming out of your ass, but just sit still, put the fucking controller down for two minutes. Take the W. Good God. Yeah, exactly, Randy. That was fucking Dimitri. He just changed his gamer tag. We know exactly what that reminds us of. You guys found that clip, and I thought it would be funnier than it is. I was just raging at Dimitri. I was not happy at all. I was thinking about maybe clipping it and putting it up, but there's no way. Nah, this is ridiculous. These guys literally go out of the... That game... I mean, it would have been close. I think the California might have been able to get back. But Mutsuki just point blank him torp. He's got to come directly at the base. He's got to take the fastest road. He can't be dodging torps. So just fucking nuke the line that he's on and you still win the game. Literally goes out of his way to throw the game. He's like, all right, we got this. What can I possibly do to throw the game? Uh, let's shoot the guns and then get off the base. Check, check, check. Game lost. Brilliant. All right. On to the next. Let's try this guy. Long live Dimitri. He's been reincarnated. What's up, Tegan? These players, yeah. No, I, you guys think I'm being facetious when I say they come up with creative ways to throw the game. They're actually trying to lose the game more often than not. Whether they know it or not is irrelevant. Almost everything the guys, your teammates, or almost everything the guys on your team does, if you actually analyze it from a... A strategic standpoint sorry I'm getting all riled up is better for the enemy team than it is for your team like if you actually know how to play this game uh, it would be the opposite of what you would say okay this is what we should do in this situation and I get it we just talked about this not too long ago this game is not intuitively easy you gotta study it that's why you guys watching myself or whoever else uh, taking the time to go online, learn the rules, learn the strategy, you will automatically be a million times better than these fucking Japanese destroyer players. But they're still going to be on your team, there's nothing you can do. Unfortunately. But I, I tell you, that the, whatever it is, it's like 10.30 central time, ends up being like 4.30 in the afternoon in England. I think they just let the loony bin out every single fucking time at the same time. The shit we see in this time slot is just unbelievable. <laughs> really hard to snatch defeat from the jaws of here. <laughs> they will just they'll surprise you, man. You're like like that game I was like, okay, I don't think he can possibly throw this, and then I'm like, wait a second. All he's gotta do is play like a standard Japanese destroyer player, he'll throw it no problem, and boom, two seconds later, game lost. Does not disappoint. In fact, we should, maybe we just need to reorient our focus here. Rather than actually trying to win the game, let's just go searching for the ultimate throws. Like, that would have been a good one. You know, we should be proud of a find like that. Wasn't the best. We've seen better. But it was good. Run
hunt, hunt for the red potato. Yeah, that was I'm, sometimes I'd name these streams and then they become apt. I think I should be more positive in the stream names just to put out the vibes. Like, if we'd name the stream Getting Lucky with teammates that are actually trying to win the game, for instance. Then maybe... <laughs> somehow we'd actually get some of those teammates on our team. Alright. Back to business. Got the fire, we got the broadside, we might as well go with the AP, right? Test it out at least, get it in the superstructure, that should be a kill. There we go, now we got two destroyers sitting on the cap, that's boner time for us. We'll put the Helena right in between two of them and fuck them up. So, how do we make the play we want to make? We gotta get rid of the battleship, we can't put a Helena near a Gnaiz now. That doesn't work. Once the Gnaiz now is dead, now these guys are in trouble. Oh, great. This is glorious. This makes up for everything we've endured. And we actually had a couple of killer games today, like all of our games have been either great or just dog shit. Oh, they got B. Double strike! Give them a wood up for that. Alright, so we're going to be down three caps to one here and um, a lot of ships. But... I was going to say, in my mind, I'm like, but we have a destroyer advantage, and I look up and we don't have a destroyer advantage. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I, don't, I just don't know about this shit. They tweak the matchmaker just for your streams, yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder. That's right. We got one battleship. What is it? North Carolina. If we can kill him, I can basically wreck everything else. This game ain't over yet. See if the Mayhem can get that. I can go back and flip B. So I got a cruiser up there. Maybe one of the destroyers. We just don't want this 3 to 1 cap situation to persist any longer than it needs to. This guy, if you're ever isolated like this, what you want to do is try and get back to your pack. You know, He's doing a pretty good job. He doesn't want to come straight at us because he's going to have that broadside from the New York. So I, the way he's trending over here is correct. But I think he just needs to understand. I'm probably going to get torps, crossfire torps from B. We gotta assume there's the destroyer there because he's not spotting any uh, cruisers, and there's the Jervis right there, trying to suicide rush him. There you go. Fuck that guy up. Alright, so if we get C, be a good start. Man, they got a lot of HP. I want to be on B, but we got crossfire from North Carolina. Once North Carolina dies, then we're a little bit less concerned. 
And the fact that we're about to get C, I mean, this guy might flip it right back, and if he kills the Mayhem, this is a disaster. But, we do have King George there. Hopefully he's got AP loaded. He could one-shot that hell on a no problem. Oops. North Carolina's blocking himself. Now we can go get beef. Beautiful. Alright. Ooh, nice. Hey, we might actually win this game. We'll find out. There's a chance we could get a W. I know it sounds strange to say out loud. Very, very strange. Oh, webcams! Yo, what up? Great product you're selling there. Why didn't I hide your ass? Should be hidden. There he goes. Can't believe we actually pulled this one off. It's looking like the wheels are falling off for a moment. Alright, so we spot that thing just to know where he is. We don't want to close in on that thing. We want to establish the wind first. So he's going to try and stop us from capturing. That means we're going to move right here. We are getting spotted right now, so we know destroyers in the area. It's also good information. Probably up yonder, because he's not in the cap, of course. Torpedoes to starboard. What is that thing? Starboard. I think Jervis, he shouldn't have range on that. Beautiful. Alright, they closed it up. Yeah, he had the range. Can't be that far out of the cap. So I think Jervis is 8 kilometers, if I recall. I want to make that call out right there because I knew there was a chance I was going to die. So we at least want to get that thought in the minds of these people. You know, we're almost certainly going to die right here. Well, if he goes down, then we're all right. But you can't ping the bases when you're dead. So I usually, if I think I'm going to die, I'd like to ping the bases just to, you know, you got to drive these ideas into these guys. Now, the people left on my team here have actually played pretty well since... It looked like we were just shitting the bed early, so I'm not going to get too bad. I'm too mad at him. Still got the Indianapolis B in your port. Indianapolis B is hard to play, but the guns are blistering. I mean, if you're new, you're still learning cruisers, maybe I wouldn't plug a lot of games into that. But you can bust it out once in a while. I got There's some really good players out there that love that ship. Like the phone messes I get about car insurance run out when I don't own a car, yeah. <laughs> Webcams. Okay, well. What are we doing now? One and two, three, what? Two, three, four, five, six... Seven and four. We're struggling.
The cherry on the top would have been if the Mutsuki gets the top score here. That's usually what happens because then in their mind they're like, wow, I had a killer game. Too bad the rest of the team didn't carry their weight. All right. The Jean Bach. Let's do the Jean Bach. Spam marketing. They must be doing something right. Okay, what do we got here? We got Destroyer. That's good. Benham, that's not good. Hmm. Kagero Ma Zakatsuki. You know those boys are gonna be wanting to torpus. Lost a game with the disconnect. Ah, that sucks. You want most of your losses to be teammate throws, not technical errors. And he's moving forward, but he's coming this way, which means he's probably trying to go up the gut. Which means we're probably going to lose this game again. Uh, maybe we just got to play some destroyers today. I don't know. The quality of destroyers we're getting on our teams is not uh, good. Not good at all. I mean, if he's trying to smoke me up, fine, but what does that do? As soon as I pull the trigger, it's irrelevant. You gotta say to yourself, okay, he's either trying to smoke so he can sit there not spotting, in which case he sucks, or he's smoking us up. I like the thought, but none of us can use it. None of these battleships can shoot. And use the smoke. And we got probably Torps coming in this line. So he's just sitting in the smoke here. So we got major problems over here. Looks like both teams are playing the exact same strategy, so as frustrating as this is for me, it's not the end of the world yet. They'll probably have someone go up the gut. We can cover that from here. Yep, yeah, there they go already. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, we'll see if anyone reacts on our team. The hood says no. This is like these are the kind of people we got on our team. All right, North Carolina is backing up. These guys are backing up, but they're aiming down here, so I don't think they're actually responding to the base. These guys just might straight up capture. Which would be hilarious. All he has to do is nuke that North Carolina right here, and then he can capture the base. There he goes. Fortunately, his spread was inappropriate for the purpose. They got a couple hits. That's pretty decent. <laughs> I 
This has just been... Uh, it's pretty fucking funny if you think about it, what we're seeing today. I had to turn just to get the guns on. Now we're not at... We didn't get the shot off, but I we might beat ourselves in the process, which would be an even bigger disaster. Alright, well now you're in trouble. In serious trouble. Yeah, I think I'm going to try my hand on this side. It might be a little less frustrating than the one we spawned on. like a looks like a loss if it quacks like a loss it's probably a loss games free to play what does that mean do you have to be fucked in the head to play free to play games was that the excuse we're going with because the vast majority of the people i see out here are completely fucked in the head Underrated secondaries, yeah, it could be just a little tricky getting them on target, but I feel like the, what was the, wasn't there supposed to be a French battleship Transformers commander? I thought that was, let's see what the patch notes say. The Richelieu improved about improving your battleship's secondary caliber gun, so they probably had a secondary caliber build Transformer guy. For the French. Now we don't know what happened to them. Seems like they kind of slowed their roll on these French battleship, or the Transformer commanders, rather. Man. I think we got like 2k there. The dinosaur, yeah. So, Tetchi today? What does that mean? So he's slamming on the brakes. I got a Marley down here, full health, and then like a quarter health Duke. I think we can take both of those fuckers out. Hopefully. What else we got? Sharnhorst. The problem, we just got to keep an eye on this guy right here. He's of course going to want to gain access to my side. We'll keep an eye on him. That was close. Oh, they're on the base again.
In his mind, he's like, there's no way this dude's gonna shoot at me, so I'll just start shooting my guns. This is more Japanese destroyer. Just dog shit play. There's no point to get reset there. I'm, they're still gonna win the game. Yes, I get it. But that's a really bad play. You're gonna do it, at least put the smoke down like you did there. Oh. There! That's how you set up a beautiful crossfire. How do you angle against both of these? Oh, webcamschat.com. Hot girls and boys video chat. That sounds really fucking stupid, man. This is what you come up with? This is what you want to do with your life? Post this shit? At the other end of this bot, there's some fucking guy, you know? Does Spartan still berate people on the comms? I don't know. I, I stay off the... You guys know I get pissed off. I stay off the comms for that reason. I can never control myself. But I... The worst I feel playing this game is when someone that knows me sees that I'm playing, you know, on their game. And then they die rather quickly. Then they come on here and then they hear me talking shit. It's like, well, I just get pissed off for the two minutes that the game's going on. Then I forget all about the game. So, I just, you know. It is what it is. You can agree or disagree with it, but. I'm sure Spartans tried to stop doing that, but I don't know. I just, I don't have enough time to watch other people's streams or videos, so I have no idea. Alright, great effort, guys. So we got uh, more XP than the lowest third of our team combined, which included two-thirds of our destroyers. So that's a good way to win the game. Man, alive. We have seen some doozies today. We always see some doozies, but the ones we've seen today have been incredible. Let's see how people are playing in Tier 3 today. Get sick of people listening to or listening to people burp, fart, yell at the kids. Yeah, nah, I'm sure there's no, there's probably no reason to be in the comms, anyways. I've told this story once before though, but uh, I can still remember my one of my favorite game sessions of World of Tanks was like I was still a relatively new player, had just starting to started to learn about the game, so I was becoming competent, but I wasn't great yet, and I got in the comms with this English guy, and. Wound up just randomly playing, I don't know if we divisioned up or we just kept getting on the same team. I'm sure, maybe we divisioned up, but we played together for like an hour. And he was he was calling off good commands, I was calling off good commands, and like the coordination was just, that was really fun. You know, if you can actually get it to work. But then you're right, like most of the time it's just some dude who's got the microphone laying on the floor, you gotta listen to his bullshit pop music. It's like, yeah, what's the point of this? So initially I would just go through at the start of every game and I would mute my entire team. And then after doing that for like two or three weeks, I'm like, why the fuck are we even bothering? You know, you mute them before you even give them a chance at this point in time. Just turn the comms off. So I turned them off and I've never looked back. I've never had the comms on once in this game. There's just no point.
Coming right for us, Ned. If he catches catches a whiff of me and spots me, I'll probably die here. Just got the inside of the ship in the spoke there. That was dangerous. <laughs> down one ship so far. That's not too bad for two minutes in. Done our ship's HP. That's not too bad for two minutes in. Getting the shit kicked in. <laughs> Alright, this is low tiers. They got excuses down here. They can say we were new. We don't know what we're doing. Like me. I'm gonna get blown up here. I'm new. I don't know what I'm doing. See if we can bomb on this thing here. I don't think he can shoot us back. Looks like we're just getting over the edge of the island here. Oh no, we got a flyboy on top of us. This one's not looking too hot either. <laughs> he is moving forward. Trying to focus this Ishizuki even though we got cruisers, we got destroyers, but in this situation, tier 3, tier 4, where all these cruisers, myself included, can all blow up in one second, these battleships have even more value. I didn't even realize we're on Epicenter. I was... The whole game, I'm like, what are these lines here? <laughs> Shows how much I paid attention to this game. Didn't even dawn on me. Fuck. So now they got... Oh, we did get one battleship, so they're only up one, but... Let's see... I want to use the smoke here. I'm looking at the map saying, am I going to get spotting? Probably not, but we're going to die here if we don't use it, so. I'm going to have to force that. I think there's still a path to victory here, but I think we're probably going to have to kill everything. That sucks. We needed that spot in.
God, this thing does not react very quickly to what I want it to do. I want to get the torps on there, but we gotta get safe first. So if we can get them off, cool. If not, we'll move on. Ugh. Ideally, that uh, Farragut or whatever would be rushing us. I think that'd be the easiest way for Red to throw this one. Svetlana, I can kill. I don't know. We're going to be down on points. Looks like they're getting that mid ring here. We'll just try the old torpedoes on this guy. Since he kind of is advertising where he is. We can shoot just to make sure. Yeah, he's, he's almost certainly like right on the edge of this ring here. Requested assistance. So I'm blocked from him, so I'm not worried about him. Still want this destroyer dead. If need be, we can suicide rush that, uh, and we did hit him. Like he's right there. He's exactly where we thought he was. Just sitting there. <laughs> Either he put the controller down or he's extremely confused as to what's happening to him. That was bizarre. Well, that's the kind of shit we'd see at the high tiers. Here he's got an excuse. It's like, yo, I'm a brand new player. What do I know? Ha! I think he's already dodged those, but... We got to try. How's he on an epicenter map? This is like the one... It's a, basically a tier 4 matchmaking on this map. This is the only time you can get it. Oh, look out. We got a flyboy on our hands here. Man, he's coming around a lot faster than we're backing up. This is not going to end well. 25 seconds. No, nah, we're dead. Not even coming close to getting this shit. Man, that Kaiser's a fucking speed demon. Oh, shison. <laughs> what do you fuck off with your stupid torpedoes? Alright, I think it that should be a kill shot if this cruiser doesn't die here. I think he can go hunt down the carrier and we should win the game. Yeah, he's slamming on the brakes. Shit. Good dodge there. We only got him for one. Any damage con, so. Fortunately, that is going to be a loss. Briefly, I thought we might actually get a win. You could say, why are we calling it a loss? Because we got a... Omaha moving into the Kaiser now. All he's got to do is connect one hit and the game's over. Although, this guy is burning to a crisp. So what... If he wants to play it correctly, I'd just pull off behind here try and get that block. Basically, you're, you're trying to say to yourself, how do I not get dev struck in this situation? You cannot stop there. That's not what you want to do at all. Yeah, I'd go ahead. You got the double fire. I'd go ahead and load AP. You got the 
You got the broadside shot. Disengage, though, man. You cannot take another hit from this thing. Yeah, it's pretty basic. Alright, that's another loss that I don't think we deserved. It's about five or six of those today. <laughs> not like there's a tutorial, even a manual. No, there's not. You gotta go on YouTube and figure it out. You gotta go on Reddit. Yeah, we've dropped down to about a 50% win rate today after... Let's see, what do we have? We're at 1 and 2... 1 and 4... In the last 5. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 4... 6 and 6... 7 and 6... And I think that's about enough World of Warships today. We will be back tomorrow, but these guys are really starting to get on my nerves here. I'm not going to bitch at the low-tier guys because they're not supposed to know what they're doing, but most of these games are not low-tier games. Like, this was just fucking embarrassing. Uh... This was pretty fucking embarrassing. That was the game we had Dimitri reincarnated. I mean, that one actually should have been a win. The guy's just like, meh. Let's shoot AP into a fucking California with 40k health. As a Mutsuki. And let's just see what happens here. Of course, the shell shattered. He got zero damage, and then he quickly died after that. Stupidest fucking game I played in months. I mean, that was horrible. This one, I don't remember. It looks pretty bad. Doesn't look like we did anything that game. Ah, uh, this game was another throw. That's about four or five throws today. This one, so I've had two, I'd say the Mutsu and the Roma. I don't actually remember the Roma game, but the Mutsu game, we fucked that up. I just got blown up right off the bat, but... I don't know. I just... We need better support out there today than we're <laughs> getting. Rage quit? No, it's just... It's not a rage. It's just me coming to the realization that if we play for another hour, we're going to be below 50% on the day, and I don't want to do that. I actually feel like I'm playing pretty well today. But when the win rate starts to spiral out of control, you got to move on with your life. <sighs> Made work much more enjoyable, good. Yeah, I actually, I had a lot of fun today, to be honest with you. Like, it's just, it starts to build and build and build. Where we're not getting wins. Aoba game was the best. That was a really good game. Yeah, if you guys missed the Aoba game, you want to go back. Which game was it? That was probably one of the best games I've played in the last, in this update cycle. 133 damage, not bad. We got four kills. We got 17 fires. We got two defenses. And we got over 1,200 next. And these guys did well, by the way. I mean, we had a couple of good players, or good scoring players on our team at least. Yeah, that one was fun to play. We had another couple of good games. The Ganget game was good. The Yahagi game was good. The Amagi game was good. The Amalfi game was good for about two minutes. <laughs> How do we do on this one? That one was pretty decent. Yeah, that Mayhem. Oh yeah, that was a fun game too. That's I I thought the games were pretty fun today. It's just we took a lot of losses that we didn't need to take. Unfortunate. But what can you do? Wanna thank Spiral for rejoining the members and Birdman for the three donations and Squirrel for the donation. A lot of new subs today. We are hunting for 20k subscribers. A lot of giveaways lined up whenever we hit that, if we do. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long. I was hoping we can do it by now, but it's going to take a little longer than I was hoping for. Liza, good to see you. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, uh, 10.30. Maybe a little bit earlier even, because I do actually have to work in the afternoon slash night. And then Monday... That day, I'm going to try and get up early, and we're going to try and stream for a while. Now, Update Monday is the worst gameplay of the entire month. All right.
So we're going to go into that knowing that full well. We're just probably going to lose almost every single game that day. But there's going to be a lot to cover. We're going to be checking out the balance changes. Checking out the commanders. We'll see if the transformers are there or not. As of right now, it doesn't look like they are. But we'll find out. Checking out the campaign ship. Hopefully they give us the preview copy of the Russian legendary cruiser right off the bat. That'd be pretty badass. But I think we're going to have a lot to check out on Monday. So stay tuned for that. Should have a video on Sunday. I got like, I got a handful of good games to choose from there. So I'll see which one we're going to put up. But yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys back tomorrow. Hopefully you have a great rest of this day.